It's one of those iconic names in golf, the launcher driver, and it's back now at Cleveland with the launcher HP. It is. We're excited to bring it back, and um, yeah, off to a great start so far. There's been a lot of buzz around it already because people just see the name Launcher, and it brings back a lot of great memories. So it's a driver that really, you know, has that emotional, you know, feeling for a lot of golfers out there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the Launcher name has been very popular in the past. I mean, the I think the Launchers in the past were the first to 400 cc drivers, first to 460 cc. Um, kind of paved the way in technology. Now we're bringing a lot of better performance and more modern technology to the launcher name. So just going a little bit into that technology, tell me a bit about what is inside this head. Uh, the first thing, and you don't even see it though, is the lightweight hosel design. And we've seen a lot of companies go heavy towards adjustability. Mm -hmm. And adjustability is, is good for a lot of golfers. You can tweak it, you can fine tune it to really fit your swing. But there are trade-offs, kind of with anything, there are trade-offs, so it's not all good. Um, every piece of adjustability that you add actually takes away from optimal performance because you're bringing a lot of weight to places like the hosel that isn't necessarily good for weight. So by creating our lightweight hosel design, we've been able to move more weight lower and deeper within the head, so it has the lowest, deepest center of gravity in golf. And in simple terms, it just makes it more forgiving, right. easier to hit, higher launch, um, and long. And what about one thing that we hear a lot about drivers is ball speed. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about the face that's on this driver. Yeah, so so this, um, the face and the surrounding structures mm -hmm. really are built for maximum ball speed. So the first thing on the sole is you see these flex fins. So these, the flex fins, I mean, I like to think of them as springs. They basically compress a little bit at impact okay. and then release like a spring for more ball speed, specifically lower on the face. And then... The, we have a new high bore crown to this. And so the high bore crown, the original one was designed to move weight lower and deeper, right. which this does. But this is a little bit stiffer, so one, it sounds better, but then also what it does is it, it allows the, on high face impacts to flex a little bit and return energy, almost like the flex fins on the sole. So it has a really good high face ball speed as well for the golfers who hit it a little bit higher on the face. You get some really long drives. And then another kind of hidden technology, mm -hmm. but which is really critical, is the cup face. So this is one of the few drivers on the market that has a cup face, and basically that allows the sweet spot to be bigger, we can go thinner, um, and ultimately provide better ball speed and better performance. And you talk about the high bore crown, you know, the high bore was one of those drivers too that was synonymous with Cleveland. Was there any thought into making it more high bore-esque and stripping the crown down even more? Yeah, for sure. Um, with the better manufacturing techniques, we can go thinner on the crown. We actually didn't need to go as extreme as the last mm -hmm. one, so that's the, re that's the purpose. Um, the previous generations were more scooped out, which helped the weight get lower, but we were able to get the weight exactly where we wanted, still with this kind of more convex shape um, for better stability, more sound, and to give that ball high face ball speed. Um, benefit that I was talking about earlier. You know, we put it in play the other day and you see a lot of pictures on the internet and you think that some people think that might be distracting. Really? You put it down next to the ball? It, it I don't want to say it disappears, but it's just like second nature. You're like, oh, look at that. It looks good. It also yeah. kind of changes colors a little bit on you, which yeah. plus some mind tricks. And <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I think it, the designers definitely did a nice job incorporating the high board crown and it, all, and it frames the ball nicely mm -hmm. um, and really is, kind of almost works as an alignment aid as well. Yeah, really cool. And then, you know, what everybody likes to see on the, uh, you know, on the rack there, they like to see a really cool looking shaft. And we had yeah. that with the Sikua. Yeah, exactly. This Mizaki Sikua shaft, um, it's a premium made in Japan shaft. And with some proprietary manufacturing that Miyazaki has, is we're able to get a very low torque design. So lightweight, good bend profile, but also low torque, just to add stability and help golfers hit straighter. Because I know it's, you know, a lot of people think distance, 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 mm -hmm. and this has it with all the technologies in the head, but also to score your best, you want to hit more fairways. So it's a pretty clear, you know, directive to the R&D team when developing this is, hey, this has to be hit more fairways than the competitors. Um, so we ran quite a few tests. You know, the shaft is one of the big kind of drivers of that. Right. Um, and this does find the fairway more often. 
All right, and finally, what is the coolest thing about having the launcher name back to Cleveland Golf? Oh, that's... I put that, you on the spot with yeah, that Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> to be honest, I just think the performance of this driver is the coolest thing. Um, when we all hit the first prototypes, you know, with this shape, with the flex fins, with the high bore crown, I think we we're all really pleasantly... It just it performed great. We were, we were thrilled with the first prototypes, and it's just gotten better since then. Um, so the launcher name you know, means a lot to a lot of people, and we think this one will be even better. Okay, Brian, thank you. That is the launcher HB driver from Cleveland Golf.